This is a completed grand system installation showing the position of each component. Here are the dehumidifiers, the humidistat, the humidifier with the moisture distribution baffle above it, the watering tube, and the light panel. You will find the installation of a grand system fast and easy if you have these tools available. You will need a ratcheting screwdriver, a screw starter, a cordless drill screwdriver, chalk to be used as a marker inside the piano, a hex head or Phillips head manual screwdriver, and a hacksaw. As mentioned in the vertical segment, check the screws in the hardware bag to know which screwdriver is necessary, a quarter inch hex head or number two Phillips head. Before the installation, also check to be sure everything is included in the box and that you have packed the tools you need. It's important to plan the installation of the grand system in advance. You will be working under the piano to make the installation. The first component that should be considered is the humidifier, which should be installed as close to the center of the soundboard as beam structure allows to provide the best moisture distribution. This illustration shows the location of components in a single tank installation. Grand systems with dual tanks are called seven part systems. Here is a dual tank installation in a concert grand. The dual tank system provides the best moisture distribution in grands 8 feet to 9 feet or 244 to 274 centimeters. Generally, the dual tank system requires twice the time to install as the single tank system. The humidifier tank can be installed in either of two positions. It can be installed between the beams or under the beams. The between the beams installation is preferable because it provides better moisture distribution and the tank is less visible than in the under the beams installation. Notice the moisture distribution baffle above the tank. The illustration shows the correct alignment of the baffle over the humidifier tank. In either an under the beams or between the beams installation, the humidifier must be located so that the moisture distribution baffle is level, not bent, and not pointing up or down. For pianos which do not have beams, Damp Chaser provides a support rods package to allow installation of the humidifier. This package must be ordered separately and comes with its own instructions. Once we've determined the location of the humidifier, we're ready to select a location for the humidistat. The humidistat should be located with its top edge at the top of the beam close to the soundboard. It can be mounted higher if space permits. A label on the humidistat tells you which side goes near the soundboard. The humidistat should be placed about 12 inches or 30 centimeters from the humidifier and if possible it should be centered in relation to the length of the humidifier. The 48 inch or 36 inch primary dehumidifier should be located under the soundboard across the bottom surface of the beams and as close as possible to the belly rail of the piano. The 24 inch secondary dehumidifier should be located under the soundboard across the bottom surface of the beams and within several inches of the tail of the piano. Now the planning phase is finished and we're ready to begin the installation. This is a 7 foot Schimmel Grand, model 213T. You'll notice we've turned it on its side to make filming easier. The humidifier is the initial component to go into the piano. We'll install it between the beams. First, the hanger rods must be attached to the piano so that the humidifier tank can be suspended from them. This is true for both a between the beams and an under the beams installation. The hanger rods are attached to the piano with four hanger rod brackets. In this between the beams installation, the hanger rods are positioned just above the beams. Attach the brackets to the rods with the molded extension pointing in. The flat side of the bracket will be against the beam. Snap the baffle onto the two hanger rods. Now the baffle and the hanger rods can be used as guides for locating the hanger rod brackets. Place the baffle and one hanger rod in the appropriate position. Slide both hanger rod brackets into contact with the beams. 
screw a three quarter inch screw into the beams through the bottom hole on the hanger bracket. Be sure not to over tighten. In positioning the hanger rod and baffle, to begin, use only one screw to hold the bracket because you'll need to move the baffle and hanger rod assembly back and forth slightly to determine the baffle's most relaxed position. Then you'll tighten both screws to anchor the bracket. Perform the same operation for the other hanger rod and hanger rod bracket. In an under the beams installation, you can also use the baffle and hanger rod assembly as a guide for locating the hanger rod brackets. In this under the beam installation, the hanger rods are attached below the beams just far enough down to ensure the rods don't touch the beam. In between the beam installations, in rare cases, you may not be able to position the hanger rods above the beams because there isn't enough clearance between the ribs of the soundboard and the moisture distribution baffle. The hanger rods must be cut to lengths that fit between the beams so that the hanger rods hold the baffle away from the ribs. Use your hacksaw to cut the hanger rods. After we complete a few more steps, we'll be ready to hang the humidifier on the hanger rods. Note that the hangers for the humidifier have two holes in them, a lower hole and an upper hole. The lower hole is used in between the beams installations. Humidifiers are packaged with the tank hanger brackets attached using the lower holes, and these are the holes we'll use for this installation. The upper hole is used for under the beams installations. The upper hole should never be used for a between the beams installation, as this would position the humidifier too close to the soundboard. To move the tank hangers, simply unscrew the screws already in the tank. Move the hangers down so that the holes align and then refasten with the self-locking screw. If necessary, enlarge the holes in the plastic liner with a pair of scissors. Place the humidifier on the floor directly below the installed hanger rods. Uncoil the fill tube and bring the loose end out of the tank. Drape the humidifier pads across the heater bar and push them down into the tank. Lift the humidifier into position so that the hangers go over the hanger rods on the outside of the baffle. Next, we'll install the humidistat. Clean the area on the beam where the humidistat will be located with the alcohol pad provided. Let the area dry three or four minutes. Attach the Velcro strips to the humidistat so that the fuzzy side of the Velcro is attached to the humidistat. Remove the backing from the other side of the Velcro strips and push the humidistat firmly against the beam in the position you previously selected. At this point, the two inch screws should be inserted through the humidistat case and into the beam. Route the low water sensor probes attached to the humidistat over the adjacent beam toward the humidifier tank and clip the probes to the humidifier heater bar at its center. It may be necessary to lower one end of the tank to clip the probes on the heater bar. Plug the humidifier heater bar into the humidistat outlet marked Humidifier. We are now ready to install the two dehumidifiers. First, snap the mounting clips onto the 48 inch or 36 inch primary dehumidifier. In this installation, we're using a 36 inch dehumidifier because it fits best in most pianos and it fits best with the grand undercover, which will be described later. Place it in the position as discussed earlier. With the dehumidifier in place, mark around the clips with chalk. Then, remove the clips from the rod and attach them at the marked points with the half-inch screws. Snap in the dehumidifier so that it is centered in the piano with the cord end closest to the humidistat. Plug the triplex outlet into the humidistat outlet marked Dehumidifier 
and plug the dehumidifier plug into the triplex outlet. Be sure that the triplex outlet is plugged into the humidistat outlet marked dehumidifier. The 24-inch secondary dehumidifier is installed in the tail of the piano in the same way as the primary dehumidifier. The secondary dehumidifier plugs into the triplex plug as well. The spacing on the mounting clips may be quite narrow in installations where there is only one beam in the tail of the piano, and both mounting clips must be installed on this single beam. The next step is to complete the installation of the watering tube. Here, you see a typical tube installation. The tube should be routed over the beams. Two types of clamps are provided to anchor the watering tube. Two standard clamps and two half clamps, along with serrated washers. At the rim of the piano, mount two half clamps with serrated washers to hold the end of the tube so it can be removed when the humidifier needs to be filled. Use 3 quarter inch screws to anchor the half clamps. The amount of tubing available to be removed should be sufficient to reach the top of the rim of the piano. The fill point must be higher than the top of the humidifier tank for water to flow into the tank. Two standard clamps are used to hold the watering tube between the rim and the humidifier. Now we'll complete the installation of the three light panel. Locate the light panel either on the rim or under the key bed, whichever is preferable. Route the light panel wire over the beams to the position you choose. Be sure it does not come in contact with the dehumidifier. Attach the light panel with two 3 quarter inch screws. Three 1 8 inch clamps with 1 half inch screws are used to hold the light panel wire from the point of installation of the panel to the humidistat. Now that all the components have been installed, the excess wire from the dehumidifier and the humidifier cords can be concealed by using a combination of wire ties, cable ties, and the remaining clamps. The humidistat power cord can now be plugged into the wall outlet. Be sure the outlet isn't controlled by a switch. The final step is to fill the humidifier with water. Add water and humidifier treatment to the reservoir according to the same instructions you saw earlier in the video. The installation of the grand system is complete. In the next part of this training video, you'll learn methods to stabilize pianos in extremely adverse environments.